What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Early in the morning, I got a phone call from the funeral directors and they told me that my mom's dress that we purchased for her did not suit the situation. In other words, we were supposed to get her a long sleeve dress and I believe this dress was like a short sleeve. This is kind of short notice. We were supposed to have the dress there yesterday like as a last minute time and now we're about a day late before my mom's funeral and I have to go dress shopping for my mom. You're invited to come along. I did bring Tiffany to help us out because I may not pick out the best dress. I mean, anytime I try to go clothes shopping for Tiffany, she don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. That's not true. Well, it doesn't fit. It doesn't yeah. fit. It's either too big, too small, you know, too wide this way or too skinny this way. It's just like, it's so much easier to shop for guys. You know what I mean? Just like, I wear an extra large shirt. Basic. I wear medium pants sometimes. But sometimes with jeans, I could understand. Jeans have to fit a certain way. I usually wear a 34 waist, but sometimes a 34 waist is too big or too small. All of my dresses, all of my, like, everything's different. Yeah. So we're gonna go shopping around a little bit. It's gonna be a fun day. It's been kind of hard for me to pick up a camera and just, you know, film any sort of videos, but sometimes it, it does make me feel better to connect with you. So thank you for being here during a really tough time for me and my family. Okay, so, uh, I don't know where to start. Is this white or cream color? Cream. It's cream, right? That's definitely white right there. But it's not long sleeve or high necked like they said that they needed for her. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an all day thing because I cannot find any white dresses. Just that one that we showed you right now. As far as like a long sleeve, uh, not really happening, especially being that it's summertime. I mean, they do have long sleeve stuff out. I see clearance. Okay, some good news and bad news. The good news is 70% off. The bad news is there's no white dresses. I mean, no, it's not white, it's cream color. So we left Kohl's and now we decided to go to the mall because there's a bigger selection in a smaller area. Right now we're in my llama's name store, Macy's. And yo, check this out for my guys out there or you know, women that like manly smells. Because I know that there's some out there that like cologne as well. This cologne is amazing. They have these, uh, usually at malls, like Macy's has this, it's called like backstage, where it's like a whole clearance floor. And that's where we're at right now, it's like a second floor. And this cologne that would probably usually be like $150, $12.99. Got one for me and Max. Thanks, Dad. I mean, this smells so good that when I was in the line getting ready to pay for this, this lady next to me is like, sir, is that you that smells so good? I got closer, she was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Well, Tiffany got a new dress. Um, she got kind of mad because uh, I don't want this funeral to be like just everybody wearing black because that's kind of traditional. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want my mom to be celebrated in brightness not darkness. I'm trying to keep it, you know, all white attire. But my dress wasn't dark. It was cream colored. It was off white. I know, so. It was I, like eggshell. I think white is better. It's the color of angels. And I'm my sure mom is an angel now. Angels. <laughs> I'm gonna still be off white. angel because I ain't perfect. I'm just, uh, you know. So there's gonna be some peach colored angels? Yeah. yeah. This is a cute dress though. I this do like is this. All white. And is it, is it comfortable? It's very comfortable. However, girls with big butts, okay? When you put on a cute dress, that kind of, so I'm gonna have to go get some shorts or something because if the wind blows, everybody's gonna see my goods. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's gonna be a different kind of party. <laughs> this is nice. It is really pretty. But not really my mom's thing. No, it's not. And you still want to kind of like stay true to like your mom's yeah. style, you know? Pretty much an entire floor dedicated to clearance. I mean, you can see here, hey, we're in Macy's. It's a name brand store. Oh, I like that shirt. Yeah. Like My mom would totally have worn that. We wanted to check here first. Believe it or not, there's more of a selection here than there was at Kohl's. A lot more white, you know, white dresses. Like they had some pretty ones over here. These are some pretty dresses and they're all white. Like $24, but I need something with a little bit more of a collar for my mom. See the difference? Cream color, white. 
Like just white just looks cleaner. I'm gonna be wearing an all white suit. I'm actually excited about, I mean, I'm not excited about the circumstances that I'm wearing this suit for, but I am excited to dress up and, and see all my family. But yeah, I'm gonna be wearing an all white suit with like a lavender type tie. I think I might even wear suspenders. Whoa, that is not bad for $5.99. Five, five, nine, nine. Okay, it's an extra five there, my bad. Yo, this is nice right here, what? Really comfy. Oh, oh. $4,000. Ever see these like beds and just wanna lay in them? I don't think there's a bed here. Okay, I'm sinking. Not very comfortable. The sheets are nice though. Yo, this is kind of cool. I've never seen a twister blanket before. And it includes the spinner? A Candyland blanket? Bro, where have I been? I don't know about you, but malls are like nostalgic to me. Kind of reminds me of my childhood. I feel like malls one day are gonna not be around. Okay, I kind of grew up in this, well, not really grew up in this mall. It opened up, I think the year I graduated, High school, but this is new right here. What kind of arcade is this? It's like some futuristic stuff. Whoa. What? Virtual reality? Yeah. Oh, no, there's people in there. I have to say, video games have come a long way. You know, back in the day when you're like thinking about like what the future is going to be like, this is what you think of. All right. Check this out. This is so cool. Like she's got a little VR. Dude, this oh. is like a futuristic Chuck E. Cheese. It's Look how smart they are. They put the arcades and like, you know, the kids doing this right by a candy store. <laughs> That's new too. Is that white though? That looks cream colored. It's the lighting. Huh. Put your bag next to it. This bag? I guess it's kind of white. It's good. It's, babe, it's good. We're at H&M right now. And uh, they have a nice selection. Not really a lot of white though. That's a cream color. I feel like everything's cream color. Like, that's cream color. It's not white. That's really pretty. You know, this is the very first time and the last time that I dressed my mom. And I just want to do a good job, you know? Sorry, mom. Sorry there's not a big selection here. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna hook her up. My mom used to dress me so cute when I was a little boy. I owe it to her. Ooh, hey, baby. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Ooh, did you find yourself something? <laughs> It reminds me of a donut with cream filling. How much you want to bet? It's like two hundred dollars. It's on sale for one nineteen. It was originally two hundred dollars. Not too bad. So this is something that I feel like she would wear naturally to like something. That's exactly and, something that my mom would wear. And this kind of dresses it up with the like the, the buttons. If yeah. that makes sense. And I just bought me some cufflinks to that kind look of almost mention. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's an option. Yeah, it is. One thing about my mom when she would dress up, she would wear like collared type shirts something like this like this is kind of like what my mom would kind of dress in this has been a really hard thing for sure this is nice that is pretty but they said that she needs long sleeve yeah and the neck is too low like this is kind of stuff my mom would usually wear I like that what about this with like a overcoat like not an overcoat but like a, a blazer yeah not a blazer but like a shawl uh what like, is a shawl like a Okay, so this is a shawl, and it is a little bit see-through. I love, like it has these like little sparkles. Hey, excuse me, I'm being a white knit over here. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to show it a little. That's what I'm doing. I'm you're kind of short, though. The... Your mom was the same height as me. <laughs> what do you think? Well, we got to find something to go under it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at all these Cinderella's in here. Beautiful. Oh, that's not that bad. $65? Oh, it has butterflies on it. Whoa. That's so cute. It is nice. All right, this is kind of funny. So what exactly happened? So he asked the lady that worked here just out about something in the store. And he was like, yeah, I'm buying something for my mom. And she was like, oh, that's nice. Is it her birthday? And I was like, it's her funeral. And she was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that that's funny, but just her reaction was kind of funny, I guess. Really like that shirt. From before, this is something that my mom would 100% wear. I think it covers all the boxes up what they said that you need. Yeah, because they wanted her neck covered mm -hmm. and her arms, her arms covered. covered. I just feel like it's missing something. It doesn't look too Michael Jackson-ish, does it? No. What? Like, like you know, the, the, the you know, glitter? the glittery. If this is what you really like and you would buy this for your mom, 
and this is something that she would naturally wear. Like it's, it's your mom. I ain't gonna lie, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I thought picking out a casket was gonna be hard. I mean, it was emotionally, but picking out an outfit, like the last outfit that my mother will ever wear, at least on this earth, you know, it's, it's hard because I've never done this before. Hey, Tere. Okay, well, it's just an idea. I've been to like five different stores. It's, it's been hard. So this is what I have so far. So I found this one. It's got like little sparkles on it. See that? I love it. You love it? Okay, I'm, I was like hoping you would say that because I... Yeah, that's perfect. I've never dressed my mom before. So, um, that's would that look good with the... With a squ yeah, that, that's going to be beautiful. That would be the safest thing. The okay. safest bet. Got the approval from family. If they love it, I mean, I already loved it, but I was a little skeptical. I just didn't, I just wanted to get a third opinion. So Tiffany and I, we did good. This is the only one that they have left, and I am going to see if we can get a discount since it's stained. Yeah, it does have a stain. Then we can get that out. Um, I mean, it's on the back, it's uh -huh. not on the front, and it's going to be covered up anyway, but we don't need to be paying this much money for a stain thing, so we're going to try to get a discount. I think we get the stain out. What? Look at these little guys. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Daggy boy. How you guys doing? Oh, you look so dirty. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. All right. Hopefully, you guys were good while we've been gone all day. All right. Just dropped my uh, my camera. Seems to be doing okay. Um, one of the dogs jumped on me. It's okay. Hi, little girl. How you doing? I no jumping. Stop the jumping. You're so dirty. I love you so much. I, I know you want love. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's give Daki some love. Okay, yes. I'll give you some love. Oh, what you doing? Mm, you're so dirty, too. Get away. Get away. Get away. Got this really cool picture of me and my mom. That was me as a little baby. That's my mommy. Got that as a screensaver. So this is kind of like a routine. Nighttime, I make sure everybody's taken care of. Make sure all the water is full, which we've been pretty good about that. And most importantly, make sure the chickens are locked. What is up with the chickens? How'd you guys get stuck in there? What happened? Did the door close on you guys? All right, come on, come on. Come on, let's go in the chicken house. Cut, where, wait, where are the chickens at? There's a couple of them in there. Am I missing some chickens? Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Got eleven right there. Twelve, thirteen. The rest of them should be in here. Oh, there they go. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, it should be twenty-five of them, guys. They're all there. Hey, guess what? Chicken butt! My sister Mary Clarence. Look how cute she looks. She got a mohawk. Look at that hairstyle. You know what? I wouldn't be mad at anybody if they got the Sister Mary Clarence. I mean, just go to the hairdresser and ask for the Sister Mary Clarence. Look at that. That is hot. You are rock. You are rocking. She looks like an 80s rock star. These guys are so blind at night. Come on. Let's go in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going the wrong way. It's over here. Come on, over here. Come on, no, nope, right here. Come on. Right there, right there. There you go. Hey, look, Ma, it's a spoiler. So a couple days ago, my friend Phil and I spent, oh uh, yeah, it took us about two days. We rented this thing called a ditch witch, which we were able to ditch out about a thousand feet for water lines. So we installed water lines before I had a water hose going all the way back to the pretty much the start of my property, which was about seven or 800 feet. Yeah, so I had like seven or eight water hoses. So if you could imagine the hot Florida sun, you got water inside a water hose, it's gonna take forever by the time it reaches over here to be cool because it's just sitting in the hot sun. So yeah, it's getting hot out because it's summertime now. I usually will like run the water for like 10 minutes. That way it's like water that's from underground and not water that's been sitting in a water hose for 10 hours. So now we have actual water lines. I have some here. I put some by the barn over there. We have two by the barn. I think in the future I'm gonna do like an automatic water feeder, but I mean, for now, we just have these huge buckets right underneath the water lines and just open them up and it's fine. What are you doing? You're so darn cute. What the heck was that? 
just sounded like a man screaming in the woods. Wow. Okay, here's one of the water lines we put. There's another one. I mean, this is like a big deal. I have to put fasteners in or, you know, like uh, pipe holders. That's the only thing I haven't done yet. And of course I have some towards the back. What are these guys doing? Are you being chased? Being chased by Mona, is that what it is? What the hell was that? So like a squeaky toy. Here, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, this is one thing that I really like is having fresh water for them and it's not being exposed to the hot sun. So it's nice, cool water all the time. So we have a water line there and one over here underneath this lean to that's always in the shade as well. So yeah, guys have to have water. When it's hot out here, this is very important. But you can see here where we dug the trench. Dude, Ditch Witch, if you ever seen the way they work, pretty awesome. I mean, we ran this thing. Oh, I mean, it was, hey, don't get me wrong. It was a lot of work. My tractor came in clutch though, because I used that to kind of backfill it and flatten out the dirt and stuff. But, you know, it's still, still a lot of work. And then we did have to get out and rake. So I got like some, uh, I don't know, some rashes, not rashes, they're not called rashes, blisters, that's what we call them. So we're doing something really special for my mom, for her, you know, her memorial service. Uh, I hate using the word funeral. I mean, it is a funeral, but celebration of life. That's a better word. But I wanted to get some of her old pictures and new pictures and put them on a poster board. So we're gonna do that. Bye guys, you be good. Daddy will be back in the morning, okay? But yeah, we're gonna spend the night over at the Clown Cottage. Did run some shock lines. I don't know what you call them, electrical lines. And they, they have a pulsating effect. So it's not like a, an electric shock. They just kind of give you a little pulse that kind of goes on and off. But I, I ran some up top. Actually, Tiffany did that right there. The other day we ran some all at the top here. This is what was missing before. And now the dogs are not jumping over the fence. They used to dig holes. That line took care of the holes, and now this line took care of them jumping over the fence. It's sad you got to do that, but hey, here's the thing. You don't want your dogs getting loose and then maybe getting hit by a car. I mean, we do live in a rural area of Florida, but people in rural areas of Florida, and any rural area, they drive fast. You know what I'm talking about? In a rural, like, side street, there's people that, you know, they don't really care about speed limit. They just go, like, 80 miles an hour, and I would hate for something bad to happen to one of my guys. I know that they're safe back here. If you know anything about Great Pyrenees, it doesn't matter how big of a yard they have, they always want to explore beyond that. They can have about 100 acres of yard and they want to go out of that. Okay, like back here, they have... Okay, they have about three acres back here of just nothing but open pasture land, like a lot of fun for them and they still want to explore. All right, Mona is mad at me because I didn't give her her favorite treat. You have grass and you have plenty of it and there's gonna be more in the morning for you. Dude, this is hilarious. One of my neighbor's horses. Oh, he stopped doing it. Dang it, did you get it though? Yeah, look, he was, that's why their fence is so ruined. He was scratching his butt. That is freaking hilarious. He was fence. literally shaking his booty. <laughs> what is up? So we're in the next day right now. I just dropped off my mother's dress. This is the funeral home that she's going to be celebrated in tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to vlog any of my mom's service. I mean, I might share some photos here and there of the burial, but uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be such a sad day. And I'm going to give a speech from the heart, you know, about my mom. I know she's going to have quite a few of her friends here. We're gonna be doing the service and the burial all in one day. And I see that where her mausoleum is, it has like this check mark on it. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be probably one of the hardest days of, of my life ever. I'm just asking for comfort, not just for me, but for my family members, because my mom's death was very sudden. No one expected it. And there's a lot of people that leave this world in the same fashion and they leave their families pretty sad. Got Luna here with me. Wish I could bring her to the service tomorrow. I don't know, do people bring their dogs to funerals? I would imagine so. Cause I mean, these guys are so loved. Are you just barking at everybody? I think there's a service going on right now. 
quite a few cars here. A Tiffany went in there, go use the bathroom, and that's where I dropped off the clothes. Made it just in time. They were like, can you guys be here by noon? And this is like a couple hours from my house, okay? I was like, uh, I'm gonna try. And that was, oh, I got the phone call at like nine o'clock this morning. Anyways, I'm gonna be picking up one of my best buddies, Mo Sarji. He's landing, I believe in like an hour. So we're gonna pick him up. I have quite a few friends that, I don't know, they just wanna show their support and I, I love that. I have a lot of friends that wanted to come and they just, you know, they couldn't, but they called me and you know, you know who you are. I love you so much. This is like deja vu. I mean, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, we were burying my cousin and she is right behind here. Rest in peace, my beautiful Melissa. We got really blessed that we're able to put her right by my cousin Melissa. She was heartbroken with her death and I'm pretty sure that kind of contributed to her losing her life too because she was really stressed out about that and really sad but my mom cried right in this spot right here and that's why I felt like it was so important to have her here by my cousin um, I think somebody's being buried there today this is a brand new mausoleum so yeah we're all gonna be here tomorrow laying my mom to rest there it's kind of a nice spot too because we can just kind of sit right there and talk to mom my sister could come here and spend some time. I was thinking about getting that one right there for me, being right by my mom, or, you know, just one of my family members. You know, when I was here, I didn't get to go in here. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. So these are people's urns. Oh man, this poor guy, he lost his life way too young. But that's his high school, like, book. It's just so nice in here. But yeah, my mom is gonna be right behind this wall, right there at the bottom. My cousin Melissa is right there. It's beautiful in here. It's just a nice, peaceful feeling. And like all these souls are just resting. So these are, you know, people's remains, like their ashes, that they choose cremation. Oh, that's a really pretty urn. Oh, what a handsome fella, look at him. And he was a Bucks fan too. Tomorrow my mom's casket will be right there after the funeral service and we'll have like a little gathering right there and I don't know how it's gonna go. It's just so overwhelmed just thinking about it. This is my mom's house. It's my, uh, you know, late teenage years. That's how long my mom's owned this house has been. Yeah, about 20 some years. It's so weird coming here and, you know, not seeing her come through that front door and greeting me because I would oftentimes look through the little window and she'd just be coming through and she had this big smile on her face because I love surprising her sometimes. Check this out. Let me know in the comments if you know what this plant is. No cheating. All right, push pause right now and put it in the comments. Ding, 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 ding. All right, if you guessed a pineapple, you guessed right. Check it out, fam. It's a pineapple. And if you ever get a pineapple, all you have to do is cut the top of it and you plant it and you get this out of it. Pretty sure, but I got one of those at the Safe Haven Ranch that my mom gave me. It's in a bucket, by the way. <laughs> I still have to plant it. Luna, what are you doing? Leave the lizards alone. I have a surprise for you. Okay, pause the video and just right now in the comment section, think about what the surprise could be or guess. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, if you guess Mo, Hi. you were right. Yeah, I'm, I'm the surprise. What's up? He's everybody? a big surprise. <laughs> so he came here to show his support for my mom's celebration, and I'm so thankful for him, man. I love you, bro. You're my brother. Man, you're, you're my bro. I have to be here for my bro. You know, he he would be there for me. 100%. Um, also, sorry, I'm like half asleep because <laughs> I slept none this last night. So we out here to Florida today. To be with my brother, I haven't seen him. How long has it been since we Since him? November of November. last year. Oh yeah, since November. So, I might be wearing this hat for my mom's celebration tomorrow because everything I'm wearing is white and I love these flat type. I don't know what these are even called. What are they called? Flat uh, cap. What are they called? Kango. Got a haircut <laughs> too. And I did color my beard. Looking good. Looks pretty good. So, a couple months back, my mom gave me this VCR and she gave me a bunch of 
videotapes, like VHS tapes of me when I was little, my brother, my sister, just old memories. I went and put a regular VHS tape that I had laying around and it like destroyed the tape. So I was like, right away, I took this thing apart. Sorry, mom, the VCR you gave me does not work. So I found one on Facebook Marketplace, paid about 40 bucks for it. You know what these are selling for on They're eBay? expensive now. Like 200, 300 bucks. Yeah, man, these things are like relics now. It's crazy. Yeah, well, they don't make them anymore. This is a VCR right here. And I mean, this one's high tech because it has a DVD player as well. So there's both. But yeah, this is gonna be good. Hopefully it works. I have it connected to my TV through the antenna cable. See, like that. It's a little dusty. I got my fingers crossed because I don't have an extra VHS tape. So I'm gonna wing it and I'm gonna put one of my old ones in here. Hopefully it works. I I'm hoping it doesn't destroy my tape because this is the first time I use it. I bought it off somebody and they did have a video showing that it was operational. So I'm hoping it is. This is a VHS tape and that's me right there. My first name is Marco. Uh, 1986 so this has uh, a how did my mom even have you know one thing about my mom is she kept everything so oh my god fingers crossed you know what this tape means a lot to me let's not do that one yet let's do this tape first let's see what's on here hopefully it's nothing it's Omar Omar in the bathtub probably made it. <laughs> <laughs> be kind rewind okay Let's push play. I had to change the TV because... What is this? This is probably my mom's novelas. Soap operas. This is a 40 year old like Spanish channel right now. Like, I don't even know what this is. I just found this out. Tiffany and, uh, and Mo looked it up. Supposedly you can go at like what CVS, Walmart, and they convert some of these VHS tapes for you and put them on like DVDs or like a SD card or a USB stick That's or something. That's how people do that because they don't. I didn't know that. It's okay. But maybe there's somebody watching this video that didn't know that either. You're old. He's outdated. I wonder how much it costs <laughs> though. I'm, yeah, I'm a little outdated. I'm old. I've been so excited to see these old VHS tapes. I'm going to have to repair that one preschool tape because uh, that one was one I was really looking forward to seeing. Let me show you what happened. This is what happened here. So, I mean, the tape is still good. I just need to kind of super glue something. Like maybe this this thing, and then I could probably get another one of these from another VHS tape. All right, it says something on it. I can't read it. Alrighty. Oh gosh. Uh. Is this more Spanish stuff? What? Uh. I. I don't know what that was. We've come a long way with video over the years. Bruce Almighty in Spanish. Oh, that's my little sister. She's so cute. Oh, that was our pool and uh, that was the haunted house that I lived in. That was a haunted house. That was a that house made me run out. I swear, I have a whole story about it. <laughs> She's so cute. These are gold. I, I know I'm gonna see my mom in some of these videos too. So my dad, he was, he was, yeah, me and my dad are very similar. Like he filmed a lot of us when we were little. I took it to a whole nother level, but you know, back in the day, their cameras were like the, you know, those big cameras. So, I mean, you know, you can't go to like Walmart or like a store. And, I mean, I guess you can, but yeah. Oh, my sister's so cute. You watching some TV, Luna? I gotta show my dad this. Like, he hasn't seen these videos in 30 years. Oh, come on, pick up dad, pick up dad. Uh, you're gonna pick up dad. When you can't get a hold of dad, just call mom. Oh, stepmom. I look pretty good, huh, with that hat? I like the hat. I think, it, think it's pretty cool. Liliana, está durmiendo. Um, no, ya no. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, I woke you up? No, it's okay. Hey, papa. Dad, I have something so cool to show you. All right. Hold on, you ready for it? Yeah. You're gonna freak out, hang on. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna push play right here. Look at this. Oh, I, I, I'm PCR. Look. Are you seeing? 
What is that? That's a pond. That's your pond in Panty Street. Oh, you serious? Yeah. Look, that's that's our pool. And, and Sarita was swimming in the pool. Yeah, and Nancy was there. Look. That's Sarita in the pool right there. Right, and then she says, I peed, I peed in the pool. She says she peed in the pool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, that's, look, remember that pond? We, we built that pond together. I know. It was a humongous one. So cool. Look at the koi's in there. It's so cute. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Hey, Mo, what did you order? I have no idea. Oh, this, <laughs> this is all Mo's food right here. <laughs> I'll share. I'll share. <laughs> you get a share? So, chicken pita. Thank you. Your old platter. Hey. Uh, pitas and dips. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is all, this, is all, this is our food. This is Mo's food. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. You know what they call somebody like you in Spanish? No, I'm not bulking. This yeah. is just how you eat protein. protein. <laughs> yeah, this looks I'm just really good. Oh, okay. That's some extra meat. Oh, look at that. That looks good. We got some mm -hmm. great food here. So we have the dogs like with us. Amount. It goes Chloe. Oh, really? Chloe, you can't have any Greek food. Where are you at, Chloe? It's over here. She's waiting for us to drop some tzatziki. Got a, a spinach. I don't know what this is, but it's really good. You're gonna have to try some of this. It's so good. Mm. They have like the best ratings here, and now we know why. Amazing food. Pita Love in Spring Hill. Tell them Momar sent you, and Tiffany, and Luna, and Chloe. Okay, we're doing something really cool here. So I'm putting together like a photo, I don't know, scrapbook collage of my mom. It's gonna be really cool. I was gonna do a live stream doing this, but I, we kind of got like uh, caught up in some time issues. Uh, we're, we're on a time crunch, in other words, but I have this really cool like cloud paper that we're gonna use as a background. Doing some markings here so we can cut it perfectly and we have two of these so i put this easel this side together is the perfect side it's the same so just this strip takes care of both of them okay yeah that's pretty nice you know some people were like mm -hmm. that's why i had you do it because i know it would probably give you anxiety if i did it no because that's how i do it i'm too used to wrapping christmas <laughs> i don't want to rip it that's even though we have plenty. Okay. So we'll give you an update once we have it all done. Don't want to waste your time. So let's do this. All right, fam. I just want to show you what we did. It took us a couple hours, but here is the frame that I did for mom. This is a Mother's Day card I gave my mom in 2021. And it's got all these really cute like little stickers and just, it's great. And this is the best day ever. I'll never forget that day where my mom came over to the Safe Haven Ranch, had all the family there. Those are my grandparents. That's my mom when she was a little girl. This is awesome. That's me as a baby with my mama. There's just a lot of great pictures here. It's me and my mom right there. Oh, just wanted to show you. Oh, we gotta do another one. See that one? Oh yeah, my mom and Cookie. Got Mo out here at the Safe Haven Ranch for the very first time. <laughs> I gave him a bucket of food. And he's uh, he's kind of running around. He's he's trying to feed the other animals, but Mona, of course, being Mona, is not letting anybody else eat. <laughs> she gonna get you. She gonna get you. Fast cow. You need to chill. You're gonna be prime rib soon. Oh my god. Some beef jerky. She's a hog. Yeah. So we got through today. Not gonna lie, it was probably the hardest day ever. Um, I didn't vlog. I just, I don't know, I just couldn't. The, the poster boards that we did, they came out beautiful. There was one that I didn't get to show because my camera on my, or my battery on my camera was dying. It was a good turnout. It was a beautiful service. Everybody was wearing white, which was beautiful. I mean, it was probably the most beautiful ceremony, like celebration of life ceremony that I've ever been part of. And, you know, it happened to be one of my favorite people ever, my mom. 
I miss my mom and dedicate my entire life to her because without her, I would not be making this video right now. Thank you so much for all your support, your love, your prayers. Really gonna need them. Love you so much. And my boy James, the fam, showed up too, man. Big shout out to my boy Mo for showing up. Whoa. <laughs> But yeah, big shout out to Mo for taking a time and actually taking a big risk too because his wife is pregnant due any day now and he came over here to comfort me and my family, so. She might be due next week, but hey, gotta come through for the bro, man. Hopefully it's not like, cause he leaves in, I think, a, not tomorrow, but the next day. Yeah. So I'm gonna take him out on the boat. It's been a while since so I've been out on the water and I think it'd be a perfect time to do do just that it's a good de-stressor it really Get is some stress right. it was so nice like i've seen so many people that were there at my mom's service that i hadn't seen in years i mean it was just oh it was really nice and you know of course it was a hurtful service too but i'm gonna go ahead and let you go thank you so much for being a part of this video before you leave though give me a kiss peace